tables. I've saved the fun stuff for last. But not really the last. I would say towards the end, I saved tables. Tables are fun. Tables are confusing for students. So let's think of Legos. Legos equals TD. Okay. Get that stuck in your head right now. So there is four things you have to learn about tables. There's table, okay, and that defines how many Legos you have. Table row defines a row of Legos. Table data equals the how many Legos are in that row. And then header is something else all together. Maybe that's a different color Lego or something like that. So let's try this. Table. Okay, I'll just page down and close that tag out. There we go. Now, we're going to define a row. Okay, close that out. Hmm. There we go. And now some data. We'll put three lo Legos into place. Lego one. Okay. Now to save myself some typing, I always do this. Lego 2 and Lego 3. All right, so let's look at these Legos. All right, you see Lego 2. There's Lego 1 way the heck over there, and I'm missing a closing bracket. So let's go back to code. Close that bracket off just like that. And there's my Legos, all neatly stacked next to each other. All right, let's start a new row of them. To do that, what I'm going to do is first tidy up my code. Keep your code tidy when you're dealing with tables. I am going to copy the first row, paste it here and then say four, five, and six. Okay, let's go look at that. There we go. So what happens if I wanna put four here and then um, add a seventh brick? Well, let's look at that. If that's the case, I simply take this one, Command X, or Control X, depending on what you're on, put that one there, move this up, put this into place for Lego 7. There we go. So let's. Ah, oh, it would be eight, duh. There we go. All right, let's go to design, and there we go. We now have eight Legos. That's very basic to understand tables. It gets a lot more complex in the future, but for right now, that's how you make a table with rows. Enjoy.